Hello everybody. I am back with another part of the living room tour or part six of my complete Valentine tour. I'm going to show you the jelly cupboard. I'll show you all the way down and then all the way back up. All right. Oh, before I forget, I do have something I want to show you in case I forget to show it to you tomorrow. I did it last year. I took one of those garlands from Michael's. I don't know whether that was last year or year before. It has little clothespins behind the hearts. And I did hang up a lot of the vintage Valentines. And I just love them. So in case I forget to show you that tomorrow, you will have seen it today. Okay, down here you know I love my little vintage children's chairs. We have a lot of them, but I really love them. That's a favorite collection. I know I say that a lot too. But in this one, I have one of my vintage boxes and a beautiful blue and white doily and three gorgeous valentines these are really fancy ones they have a lot of that what looks like the paper doilies and the detail on them are just beautiful and they're sitting in front of a little pillow we got a couple years ago on the front of the jelly cupboard i have those big felt hearts with flowers on it and on this beautiful table, the goose leg table, I have that Avon Cape Cod pitcher with just some greenery sitting in one of my ironstone bowls. But there you can see the sides of that gorgeous oak table. I just think it's so pretty. And in this child's chair, another cute pillow from Home Goods a couple years ago, and more of these sweet little Valentines. Look at those precious doggies. Are they not just cute as can be? And then up here, there is a super cute Anna Lee. And that gorgeous red picture we got in the fall, sitting on a really pretty doily. And this is a super nice old valentine. More of the googly-eyed kids. And this one is Germany. Little brass XO. And I just put a candle down in that creamer. And more of the pearls. I love that I saw Michelle's video using the pearls so I got out all that I had in this one certain area, and you'll see another set of them on the top shelf here. But I put these beautiful pearls with that gorgeous clasp, I put that around the top of the cloche and put another one of those fold-out German Valentines. And it's sitting on one of the red and white transfer plates. One of my English ironstone pictures. And up there is the Dundee Marmalade with the little short rulers in it. And y'all know I love anything with a crown. And there is a votive holder that I got at a yard sale. And right here are those vintage tea, lot, tea leaf English ironstone plates. And there's that wonderful ironstone pitcher that we got that was at that state sale we went to late in the season. And a lock and key. And on this hand, that's where I put another set of vintage pearls.
And right here, y'all remember when we got that at a yard sale? I just think those kids are adorable with their hats and clothes. And the frame itself is gorgeous. And then, of course, up here, the red and white ironstone. And a heart that John embellished. And then this cute little thing. There's a little box of matches in that. And I think that is a cute bedazzled turtle sitting on old books. And of course that clock is a vintage one that we got at a yard sale too. So this is all of this area. I'm so glad to have each and every one of y'all stop by. I appreciate y'all's sweet remarks. Y'all have just blessed my heart with all your wonderful comments on all the Valentine tours that we've done so far. So thank you so much for that. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I feel blessed to be able to do something that I love and share with you. So, love and blessings to y'all from me and John and baby boy. Till next time, see you again soon. Bye-bye.